Hi guys, hope you enjoyed the hormonal control of spermatogenesis. Coming here, we are going to see what is meant by negative feedback mechanism. Negative feedback mechanism. Very, very, very interesting guys. So guys, what is this feedback mechanism? So a feedback mechanism which inhibits, which results in inhibiting or slowing a process that is known as negative feedback mechanism. What is it guys? A feedback mechanism. I am just giving you a definition so that you can easily understand it. Which results in inhibition or to slow down a process. Alright? is known as uh, the negative feedback mechanism uh, what am i talking about so guys i told you that the anterior pituitary that is secreting fsh which is stimulating the serotonin cells to bring about the testicular growth and spermatogenesis right similarly the luteinizing hormone is acting upon the leydig cells to stimulate testosterone Testosterone is going and binding to the serotonin cells and bringing about spermatogenesis that is formation of uh, spermatids and sperms and similarly the testosterone in the blood is also bringing about the secondary sexual characteristic. Now what happens when the quantity is enough, when the hormone amount or the concentration is enough for the cells, what will the cells do? For example, let us talk about the first negative feedback. So, can you see a negative feedback here from inhibin to anterior pituitary? Now, what is this inhibin, guys? When enough nutrition is taken up by the serotonin cells and when the serotonin cells sense that, that they receive nutrition is enough to make enough sperms, what it will do? It will start producing a hormone called inhibin that inhibin will go and signal the anterior pituitary to stop producing FSH. Do not produce FSH anymore because already it is uh, the serotonin cells receive sufficient nutrition to make the enough number of sperms. So stop producing FSH. That is the signal which is going to anterior pituitary and it will stop producing FSH. Right? Now, what is inhibited here? The production of FSH is inhibited here. Right? Yes. So, that is what is the first neg negative mechanism. Got it? Now, testosterone. Testosterone itself will inhibit two things. What is it doing? Whenever the concentration is more in the blood, right? That When that happens, the testosterone goes and signals the anterior pituitary stop releasing luteinizing hormone there is already enough amount of testosterone in the blood and sufficient for making sperm also so stops secreting the luteinizing hormone it so the testosterone does this negative feedback first and then again it goes to the brain and tell the hypothalamus itself stop secreting gnrh the gonadotropin releasing hormone stop doing that already enough testosterone is there in the blood so it will go and inhibit the production of gnrh from hypothalamus as well so these are negative feedback mechanism happening can you see guys because what they feel already the stimulus which was initiated yes that is uh, you know that has already produced enough hormones that has served the purpose so no need of further releasing any hormone which stimulates further hormones that brings about the growth so they are going and inhibiting or slowing down the process that is negative feedback mechanism if you guys ask me ma'am what is is there anything called positive feedback mechanism yes yes guys one good example will be the contraction of the uterus right the uteral wall uh, during the delivery so whenever there is more contraction the posterior pituitary will secrete more oxytocin right more is the contraction more is the oxytocin will be secreted which means it's a positive uh, feedback mechanism right yes the contraction of the uterine wall signals the brain to produce more oxytocin right oxytocin 
so that brings about more contraction and the baby can be easily delivered right that is a good example for positive feedback but in this case what is happening more hormonal release is not needed so the hormones involved in them or or what are they doing they are signaling the respective sources to stop producing them that is negative feedback mechanism hope you guys enjoyed the negative feedback mechanism guys so i think with this we are complete the complete male reproductive uh, system so next video we'll see about fascinating female reproductive system i'm using the word fascinating because it is really fascinating guys and if you guys like my video please do give a like and also subscribe share it with your friends and you can also put in the comment section what all topics you want to discuss so that i will make videos on that hope you guys are enjoying my videos thank you so much for watching guys bye bye take care have a great day